Welcome, I'm Eduardo from Zilla and I'm here to talk about the ZM1 microphone. I'm going to do a quick unboxing and talk about the first steps you have to take when you get the microphone. So, your close up of the box, illustration, important information, and let's just dive in and see what's actually inside the box. You should find three items here. First, you have your USB cable. It's the only cable you need to connect the microphone to your computer. Three meter long, micro USB, standard USB connection. I'm gonna put it here. Second, you have your quick setup guide. Here you have detailed steps you have to take to register and start using the microphone. And finally, the microphone itself. Spherical microphone, 19 capsules. Closer look, here you can find a little dot that indicates the front of the microphone. It comes with this stand, it's actually detachable. So if you need to place on a flat surface, there you go. This stand is also compatible with other stands and you have a thread adapter. So it's US and U compatible. Now, what's the first step you have to take once you get the microphone? You're going to register it. There are two scenarios. You bought the microphone directly from us. In this case, you probably already have all the license keys and the software you need to use the microphone with your computer. If you bought it from a reseller, you're going to follow the link here on the quick setup guide, uh, which is www.zilia.co slash redster. Redster the microphone and get access to the software. Now, let's say I just got this microphone here. I have no driver on my computer. I actually don't. Let's see what happens. The LED ring around the microphone should go white. So it's actually indicating that you have no driver installed. If it's white, no driver installed. So I'm gonna do a quick break here and actually install the driver and we'll see what happens. Now that I have the driver installed, when I connect a microphone to the computer, the LED ring should go blue. There you go. It's telling you that the driver is okay, the computer can see the device, you can go ahead. Next step is to open up Zilla Studio. When I do this, it goes red. So it tells you I'm ready to record. Now let's have a first look at the Zilia Studio UI. This is our main interface. You need to plug in your microphone so you can start recording. When your microphone is plugged in, the Start New Session button on the left will be lit up. On the left, you also have the sessions present on your computer. Here you can see two demo sessions that come pre-installed with the software. On the right side, you have a player to preview your recordings, options to export and delete, and access to the mixing window. So here, you can also listen to your recordings, you can change the overall level, you can solo, mute and change the panning of individual tracks, and on the right, you have several options, including export options, 
and auto mix. So now let's create a new session. To start the calibration process, you can choose between two options automatic calibration or presets. Let's try automatic calibration. I'll choose a few sound sources here acoustic guitar, accordion, and bass. Click Next. You're presented with a screen with tips and general guidelines for recording. So, optimum distance and how to organize the sound sources around the microphone. Next, here's the main calibration step. Play each sound source individually for 8 seconds to train the system so it knows where each sound source is placed around the microphone. Done. When you finish the calibration of all instruments, click Done. If you want to change your calibration, you can repeat the process or adjust things manually. Clicking on the top right, you have access to the option of changing the elevation for each sound source. Click Continue, then the red button to start recording. Click again to stop recording. Now you can preview your track or do the separation process. Now let's create the second session here, but this time let's choose a preset. You can choose between band and surround presets. Let's try stereo. There you go. Now you just have to record and listen to the results. Now you're ready to start recording. If you need additional information or some help, just contact our support team. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your recordings.